All right, Scorps, welcome to the tarot version of this weekend's messages. If you didn't watch all of this, click off here and go watch this real quick. We have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Grandma, Psalm. We have escaped. The snare has been broken. We have escaped. Exodus 32, 14. My presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Scorpio, Scorpio, Ezra 10, 4. Rise up and take courage. We have karma coming in. Predator, illegal. Taurus, Libra. Heavy on the Libra. Marriage, fake emails, drama, ecstasy, leading the way. I want to be a queen. You are rare and free. Free will, sovereignty, intellect, free spirit, soul breaking free, ex lover, mystery, player, family, breakup, divine intervention, thirst, rebellion, maynad, redemption, the monster within, and reason. Intellect. Something about your knowledge is extremely, extremely powerful. All eyes on Scorpio. This player, his eyes are right on Scorpio. See? Boom. This thirsty one, this whoever this thirsty chick, thirsty feminine energy is, her eyes right on you. Angry rebels, their eyes on you. Mayna, psycho lady, her eyes on you. Somebody wanting forgiveness could have dark features and green eyes. Their eyes on you. A lot of people watching you. We're not going to even. Yeah, I feel like you're not even. You don't. You don't even give energy to uh, the hate anymore. You more want to teach the sun. Ace of Wands, exposing with passion. Dang, you could be working with uh, Aries, Leo, Sag as well. Some kind of new passionate, passionate, passionate. Fire, fire, the fire, flame, flames, fire, dragon. Uh, new endeavor, and it brings out this side of you that, like, this into yeah, high priestess, that people admire. Whether they admit it or not, admire, admit, someone could be admitting their admiration for mm -hmm. you. Uh, your intellect really, like, turns people on, like, in multiple ways. The Wheel of Fortune, there we are. These are all majors. This is a... I'm already fascinated. This is extremely uh, interesting. Spirit, help me get these messages out. You could be dealing with Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo... You're like mid-fortune, mid-wheel, mid-leap, mid-jump. Alright, well, opening with the Seven of Swords and the Three of Cups. So, somebody and people around them could have snuck you, snaked you. Um, this person is a follower. They also believe in, their, not just believe in, but they act off of uh, instant gratification, um, instant fixes, drugs, sex, rock and roll, and you are, again, intellect, the monster, you've already, you've already like, um, you've mastered that side of you, uh, you don't look for, what, what's the word I'm looking for? You don't look for... like superficial quick fixes but it's okay that we're starting out with that because it's behind you somebody could have taken your uh, a conversation that they had with you wanting to be like you and wore it and took it to somebody else that's the problem. You can't, you can't find a Scorpio in another person, and that's what this person has tried to do. Multiple people could have tried to get their Scorpio fix from other people, and it doesn't work. It doesn't work that way. What's coming in for Scorpio? The 
the sun, okay? You could be exposing uh, just how dirty uh, these these people are. Somebody could really like um, have a, a really dirty house, dirty life, dirty in, behind the scenes, dirty in front of the scenes, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But you could be finding out some kind of truth about somebody snaking you. Do I think you're surprised anymore? Not at all. Three of Cups. But you are going towards um, a lot of celebration. Looking at the positive mm -hmm. side of this. Somebody is also looking towards you. You could be seeing 333-888-999. Somebody is also looking towards you to expose and you've already done it. So like, why are you looking at Scorpio for exposure when you're, you're not gonna do anything about it anyways? Rise up, take courage and do it. Okay. Somebody not only tolerates this predatory, illegal behavior, but they encourage it. Gross is what I'm hearing. Ew is what I'm hearing. Scorpio, you are focused on marriage. That's where your vision is at. So, that is what you will get. Ten. Ace of Swords. Cut off game like no other. Some kind of truth, but this is also like a brand new mental yeah Scorpio brand new mentality and also you create like you make people kick up a lot of dust something about you but cut off game like no other dang this might get kind of deep I wasn't expecting all that but okay what else is coming in for Scorpio somebody feels exposed because you have exposed them for their dirty ways. Here is my new logo that I have taken on this year and I will continue to say it and preach it. If you don't want something to be told, maybe you shouldn't have done it. You can be mad about the truth, but don't be mad at me for telling it. Don't be mad at Scorpio for letting it be known. Perhaps you should have rethought that knife you have behind your back. King of Cups, possible masculine or father figure. Hmm. Let's see Ace of Swords coming in. What else? What else? could also have a, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius on their way to you, or coming in quickly, or perhaps already working with one. Woo! One more. Seven of Cups Rebirths. Disillusioning illusion. Truth upright. Mm -hmm. Illusion reverse. Someone casts a lot of illusions and you tell a lot of truth. What's the Seven of Swords for Scorpio? What is the Seven of Swords? The Emperor. Aries energy. Scorpio energy dealing with either of those signs. This could also be some kind of father figure. You could father mother and parent children with this person or with daughter coming out previously or you you know this person to be a, a kind of a dictator. However, people are not looking up to this person as a dictator or leader anymore. They now know how deceptive, lying, cheating, stealing, predatory drama, toxicity, uh, sneak, scammy, energy. That is what they see this person as now. And this person now needs to look in the mirror and figure out why are they that way and look for peace. Stop blaming 
others. What's the sun? What's the sun? Wheel of Fortune, I'm telling you, dude. coming out up, upright and reversed and then I was just saying y'all are like mid it's like the wheel the some some kind of wheel is turning a lot of majors here the Sun and wheel of fortune this is like the best freaking karma you're getting some kind of do-over and look at these all eyes on you exposure, ex exposing karma and the way that it, it, it works through people, the way God works through people. What's the Three of Cups? Yeah, you bring karma, you activate karma in people's lives, temperance. You can find something about a Sagittarius you could find out about. Perhaps you're, you're not friends with this person, but you are acquainted with them. This person uh, has a habit of using other people to trigger you and others. God, that's, that's a mess, man. All right, what's, what's the Ace of Swords? It's like a game, very toxic, possibly lethal mm -hmm. game. The Devil, Five of Wands, The Hanged Man. The chariot. Somebody's catching some kind of charge. This person is. Mm, 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 they create soul ties. You've cut something too about keeping a knife or open ended scissors by or under where you sleep. I won't get any more into it because people already think I'm a witch. <laughs> okay, yeah, witch hunt. This person creates a lot of drama. They get off on creating drama. They talk about every body behind their back, and you, you're you're good on that. What's the Ace of Swords for Scorpio? Four of Swords reverse. Your, your truth is healing other people, though. Especially because it's, like, cutting into the wound to get poison out. To, like, drain how gross and wrong and, and, and injured people are. Like, a muckraker. Do you know what a, muck, a muckraker is? Somebody that goes back into history and deals with all the... All the stuff that people don't want to hear about. They don't want to see it. It's gruesome. It's gory. It's it's evil. It's wicked. You're doing just that and it and it's changing and healing other people. Also, you're getting rewarded for your help. What's a seven of cups reverse? Refusing to be trapped in illusion, refusing to be tricked. strength. Damn. There's your flames, your fire, dragon, energy, strength. It's not even the queen of wands. Look, right here. Divine. Karma. Power. Extremely powerful. That's crazy. Queen of Cups at the bottom, I'm telling you. You could also be working with a Leo. Dang. Possibly coming together with a Leo. Makes you extremely powerful to refuse 
the lying, the drama. You walk with faith and peace. What's the Seven of Swords and the Emperor? Damn, they came out again. The Hanged Man, Devil, Six of Wands. People are seeing this person too as a, a toxic hater. Somebody may be in jail. Something about this next full moon, it will be in Aquarius. The Hanged Man. Some of these toxic, deceitful ways have got them trapped as well. They fall into their own trap. Scorpio, you could be called to suspend these energies. These eyes right up on. <laughs> okay, what is the sun and the wheel of fortune? The three of pentacles. A lot of work. A lot of work to happiness, some kind of wish coming, a lot of 12 energy, it's a three of cups with temperance, yeah, you can find out about some, some, it's not even finding out, you could say, my, you prophesied again, you could find out about a Sagittarius that's for the streets, and uh, somebody went to the streets with them, okay, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius that's your twin, it's it's kind of that's rare but it's not impossible nothing is impossible the the emperor reverse to the empress yeah this this three of cups that someone's dealing with it's they're they're not a match at all the empress someone's third party too is extremely deceitful like, will lie, cheat, steal, go to illegal levels to keep someone stuck. To block, seven of wands, to block someone as well. And someone, but someone, the this Emperor Reverse, that has no control but wants it all, stays up to dirty, dirty life styles, dirty people, dirty ways, dirty deeds, heavy on the scam artist, I don't know. Anyway, um, they fall for it. <laughs> they fall the fake, the crocodile, alligator, and Scorpio, you breathe flames of truth. That you, you, yeah, you come through with dragon energy and it triggers a lot of people. Something about too, like you just, you just existing. Why? People need to ask themselves why that would trigger them. King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. What's this Four of Swords? The Ace of Swords. Somebody thinks about you at night, every night. And they, they dream the devil. They could feel like very dark, six of pentacles. Um, yeah. People seeing the wicked ways of these people too. There's something that will be coming to you. Queen of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. You're also mirroring each other and you're both going through uh, identical things even though you're not talking to each other or whatever. The people that, as I've been saying, the people that have done these wicked, evil, gross things to you have gotten it back. Now they know exactly how you've felt. What's the Seven of Cups reverse? It's strength. Somebody 
somebody else could have gotten, uh, been messing around with the Leo or something. cycle with a Leo, heading into a new one, is the outcome, oh. three of swords and the ace of cups, yeah, you cherish your cup, you cherish your love, now, Scorpio, you may have had to learn, it's coming in, outcome, outcome for Scorpio, judgment, yeah, Scorpio energy. Knight of Pentacles, yeah. King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Masculine. My Priestess. Well, some kind of outcome is, it, it is going to hurt for somebody. They always do. Not always, but when people start to open up to living authentically, 22, right whenever I said that, and coming together, other people have to face their wounds. And they have to understand, they have to go through what you have already gone through. The time alone, the shedding codependency, the finding peace within, not in other people or exterior, you know, so quite a few people learning what you already know, going through lessons that you've already been through, but I will say, death to the devil, like walking away from anyone with any kind of red flags, paying attention to those red flags, not just walking away and saying, hey, I'm not going to deal with you, You're, you need to do a lot of self-work, you need to heal, you need to work on yourself, but teaching them how to work on themselves as well. Aw, peaceful, peaceful energy there. I also really, I don't know why, but I'm really like tickled at uh, reading about Scorpio being the quiet sign. And, and perhaps your silence, your silence is, is powerful, but it, it, you being quiet, but having such an intense energy, people, people misunderstand it quite a bit. Mm -hmm. You could, you know, kind of ruffle people's feathers just because you exist with that kind of energy. It's not your fault, but... Alright, let's get some light in here. What is coming in for my Scorpios? Also forgiving, having, having a fresh perspective and on people who need to heal, people who have done you wrong in the past. It, it, it is... It can, the hanged man can represent, you know, feeling stuck and stagnant and, and waiting, pausing to really think. But it is a fresh perspective. It is suspending and, and learning how to move forward, having this new... It's also Piscean energy. Someone's brother could be in jail right now or going to jail. brother a long time ago. Oh, bam, Scorpio. Hooey! 
Got a lot of blessings coming in for you. Ecstasy, Ace of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the Sun. Dang. I would say by August, man, you're gonna be you're gonna be one happy camper. Possibly literally somebody could be going camping. What's up with the three of pentacles and the wheel? Oh my gosh, the sun to Explain the sun, bro, by Leo season, beautiful, happy karma. You're owed a lot. You're owed this new opportunity. Reaping, harvest, Halloween, reaping what you've sown. Why is the emperor reverse here? What's going on with that? What's coming in for Scorpio? intuition on fire and in this deck the sun is the hierophant you teach teaching of some sort five of pentacles someone else could be going through hard hard knock times because they did that to you Hanged man, someone feels stuck in their hard times because of what they've done to you. It's coming in with the truth and the devil, ace of swords and the devil, queen of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Four wands, huh? Moving and super focused on. Your wealth, your abundance, prosperity, luck, the dragon, the tower, and dev. That's beautiful. Honestly, you got some kind of new um, ending, some kind of new tower coming in. But with this bravery, this courage, and this faith, unwavering faith, like, you're not even worried about it. You're, you're willing to take on something crumbling to be rebuilt. You're willing to take on the lightning like nothing scares you now. I mean, of course, naturally some stuff does, but not the way it was. What's the Ace of Pentacles for Taurus? For, oh my gosh, Taurus. You could have a Taurus coming in. What's the Ace of Pentacles for Scorpio? Magician. Making a huge something out of nothing, for sure. Page of Wands. Nine of Cups. Some kind of wish coming in. It's the sun. It's the sun for Scorpio. Eight of Cups. Three of Wands. Something you've walked away from in the past. Truth and clarity. Joy. Six of the five of pentacles to the six of pentacles. Equality, dang, it's not equality. Karma. Scorpio, be extremely careful how you're moving and how you're stepping and the energy you're holding right now because from now through your birthday is a, a, an extreme karmic time. Reaping and sowing karma have you ever noticed that by by your birthday the exact day of your birthday it always feels super magical like it always feels like a death and rebirth it, it is but it, i i just know for me it is always a magical day i'm always blessed with free stuff i'm always i have amazing luck i i i because I, I harness that energy, I hold that happiness, and by the time 
our birthday comes, that tower comes, and it's a new, like, dang. Queen of Pentacles, be careful, Scorpio, don't create no karmic soul tie, like, Four of Swords to clarify the Four of Swords, Four of Swords upright. Something that gave you a lot of anxiety in the past is going to give you a lot of uh, rest and relaxation now. The Hermit, you may want to spend some time alone, judgment, intellect, so that you can know how to move forward. Mid-leap, mid-leap. What's the tower coming in for Scorpio? By July 31st, something could be coming in as well. Yep, Page of Swords, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Something could be coming in by July 31st. Or perhaps July 31st, 7-4, is like um, a, something significant coming in that day. What's the... What's the Ace of Pentacles for Scorpio with the Page of Wands? Two of Swords, Reverse. Making decision and understanding. It may cause heartbreak. It may cause anxiety and depression. High Priest, King of Swords, the Lovers. You have a very critical decision to make, but what you're going to be thinking of is whenever it comes to the company you keep. Because right now you're looking at quite a few people as what they equal heartbreak, they equal anxiety and depression, and they equal deceptive and lies, which makes, you know, whoever these people are that have been lying, cheating, stealing energies and have caused you depression, anxiety, PTSD was coming out a lot in the beginning, heartbreak, heartache, like actual, like my heart hurts, you're, you're not interested in that, you're, you're, look at that, the higher fan, look, mm -hmm. look at this one, What's that? It's like a, the alligator at, at his feet, teaching the lizard, being the teacher, communicating, healthy connections. That's what you want. Going from going from the worst, going from heartache and depression and sadness and manipulation to knowledge and wisdom and strength and, and teaching and king of swords gemini libra aquarius energy and the lovers um clarity and truth uh mental intellect like nobody's business you might but you got some kind of decision to make scorpio you got some kind of the emperor reverse with the Seven of Cups, you feel like somebody uh, still like stays in an illusion. Somebody, somebody wants some kind of control. You feel like they're too focused on control and illusions. It's a Page of Swords. Page of Swords coming in for Scorpio. Seven of Wands. You could have deleted this person in the past, somebody that's coming towards you now. What's the outcome with judgment? Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. You don't want to see anyone fight. Yeah, Ace of Swords and judgment. S something that's going to give you... Something that you could you could kind of teeter-tottered between eh, forgiveness, condemn, love, hate? Is it worth it? Is it not? What should I, you know, some kind of clarity, some kind of truth, ace of swords, to come in with the judgment, you're going to have complete clear vision about 
this, I don't know why, but I'm hearing BS in the future. Judgment and the Ace of Swords. Your mentality is like on fire. Beautiful. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. Ace of Cups and Ace of Swords. You and an air sign could be collaborating or you're channeling both. Something about this next full moon in Aquarius, that could be why. I believe it's August 10th. We have a full moon in Aquarius. Something by that date mm -hmm. is bringing in a lot of truth, a lot of clarity. So what's this Five of Swords? Love. Emotion. You could be kind of like nervous nine of pentacles somebody else could feel like they've escaped something and they want to tell you like Ten of Swords, Reavers. Yeah, you are so worried about new love, new emotions, new, new truth, new mentality, new ways of thinking, new ways of being, that you're just not worried um, about all the sneaky, like I said in the very beginning of the video so grateful for all the positivity, all the positivity that comes after a little bit of negativity. Yeah. Absorb that, Scorpio. Yes. I kind of want to do all signs real quick, and then we will get advice. I haven't done all signs in a long time. Starting out with Capricorn, if you're dealing with a Capricorn. Nostalgia. It's been hard not to think of what we used to be. Aquarius. Divine timing, trust in the perfection of divine timing, Pisces, rushing in, I can't wait any longer, I'm making a move, Aries, soul contract, my soul recognizes there's a sacred contract to fulfill, Taurus, restricted, <laughs> uh, I feel restricted and confined mm -hmm. by my circumstances, Gemini, loneliness, I'm feeling the burden of loneliness, I'm ashamed to admit it, Cancer, Player. I've been playing the field, not ready to settle down. Okay, cancer. Okay. Leo. Soulmate. You are my soulmate, a dream come true. Soul contract and soulmate. Yeah, a lot of uh, kind of deep energy here. Virgo. Okay, Virgo's got a little bit more to say here. New beginning. Let's forget about the past. Take a chance and start again. Risk. Take the risk or lose the chance. That's the question. You be dealing with some. You be dealing with Virgo. Libra. Nine 
not for you, reconciliation. You could have a Libra trying to block, block something for you. Tough beginning. It's not going to be easy, but I'm willing to fight for our love. You could be down with a Libra, Scorpio, so Scorpio, or this could just be yourself, your inner child. Chaser. Ooh, and coming out in the reverse. Okay. If only there was a way I could make you feel my love. That, that. So you don't want to chase, like refusing to chase. You want to attract love story. A true love story never ends. Let's start a new chapter. Sagittarius. Runner. Chaser and runner. Wow. I'm not ready to accept what you have to offer. Somebody could be in some kind of something with a Sagittarius. This is the second time I've gotten that. Bottom of the deck, we have not for you, reconciliation, healing. Um, yeah, making up your mind about something. Yeah, I want to use this. Some advice. Birds of a feather versus awakening genius. Your truth could kind of, uh, like I was saying, kind of ruffle some feathers, but it's your truth. Mm -hmm. Somebody could kind of want to keep things behind the scenes because they know that there's like a lot of haters and weird energy around them. All right, advice for my Scorpio baby. Great and full. Number four. Wow. Practice gratitude when it comes to this new beginning. You you are grateful for your cup. You you take your cup very seriously. Uh huh. A merry motive. Number twenty. You guys, if you're able to light some kind of fire it's gonna do you really good this is my favorite card in this deck it always reminds me of um like a campfire out in the woods but if you have a chance to light the fire and and just chill next to it some of you guys could already be planning to do that so, oh spirit of gratitude yes that's beautiful 43 7 spirit um, but some of y'all could be planning on going camping, and you don't even want to do all the, uh, you kind of just want to chill by the fire. Somebody could play music, like, be a musician. One more for Scorpio. One more. The Oracle's Gift and Beyond the Ordinary again. 37 and 40. Extraordinary. Something coming in for you, too. Y'all could start seeing a lot of butterflies. As you get closer to your birthday, you could start seeing more and more and more butterflies. Alright, Scorpio. If you are still with me, like, subscribe, comment, let me know how you're feeling, how this resonated, and I will catch you in the next one. Stay spiritual, gangsters. Bye!